everybody for joining us. I'm going to let everybody introduce yourself. So Ariadne, um, can you let us know um, where you're from today, what your prize is um, and what you're going to be talking about? Yes, thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Ariadne. I am speaking today about Marriott Cancun, an all-inclusive resort. And the prize that we are giving today would be a certificate for a two-night stay in this resort. Super, thank you very much. And we also have Peter, who's whisking us off to Barbados. Uh, Peter, let us know where you're from and what your prize is today. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the webinar. I'm Peter from Bespoke Travel Marketing, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this lovely new five-star all-inclusive resort on the island of Barbados. Our prize today, so pay attention, the answer will be in the presentation. So um, it's going to be a 50 pound or a 60 US dollar credit to your My Booking Rewards account from Wyndham Grand Barbados, Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. Thank you, everybody. Super, thank you, Peter. Well, if you can take us to Barbados, it's all yours. Thank you very much, Sarah. Much appreciated. Um, let me share my screen so we can start. Um, why is it doing this? It's not meant to be doing this. Where is to start with? This is a of the hotel. Wyndham Grand Barbados, Stamlos Castle, Resort and Spa. It was the largest Now it's unusual when we opened up in October last year. So, a slight reverse order. So, I do apologize for my technical challenges. Um, let me just try and do that once again. This is playing around. It is indeed. Now, can you see my screen? No, I can just see the Zoom screen, the internet base. So you okay. um you selected the wrong um screen. Okay. Now that let me just try and do this again. I do apologize, everybody. Um, you should now be able to see a, an image of Wyndham Grand Barbados, Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. All good. Excellent. Thank you. Apologies for that misstart. Um, so I'm Peter from Bespoke Travel Marketing. Um, this is a brand new hotel on the island of Barbados. It's the largest hotel now on the island, and it's actually owned by the government of Barbados. This is part of a new tourism strategy for the island to diversify its accommodation product offering. So this is a five-star luxury all-inclusive resort, unlike any other hotel on the island of Barbados. It's a fresh approach, and I like to think of it as a game changer for the island. Um, we have 422 rooms um, operating on this lovely beach on this site. And in the middle of the picture, you can see Sam Lord's Castle, this white building here my point is pointing to. That is the castle, which is historic and goes back to the 1800s. Um, so who is Sam Lord? Now, his full name is Samuel Hall Lord, and he, he inherited the estate of Sam Lord's Castle Estate and the castle back in the 1800s. And he was a bit of a strange character. Um, he amassed his wealth and grew his wealth by um, stealing goods off ships arriving into Bridgetown Harbour. The one he used to do, he used to get his band of merry men and women to hang lanterns off the trees that you see leading down from the castle down onto the beach area here. Now, ships arriving at night would think that those lanterns hanging on the trees were Bridgetown Harbour. The captains and the navigators would get confused, so, and they would actually head towards the beach or the coastline, thinking they've arrived at Bridgetown Harbour. What would happen? The ships used to, and these are sailing ships, remember this is 200 years ago, the ships used to 
hit onto the rocks and the, on the fringing coral reefs off the coastline here, ground themselves, break apart, and what Sam Nold used to then do is send his band of merry men and women out to plunder the ships and steal the goods for his old ill-gotten gain. So, a bit of a strange history to this area, but the estate is now, and the castle is a historic monument for Barbados. It's owned by the, 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 the state of Barbados. And the hotel, as I mentioned, is government owned. It's operated by Wyndham Hotels and Resorts. And where are we located on the island? So we're located down in the southeast coastline of Barbados. Um, it's located about a 15 minute transfer from the International Airport. Now, I'm having problems with this presentation today, so I do apologize that there we go. So this is the map of Barbados, and um, location-wise, we're on the southeast coastline. We're a short 15-minute transfer from the airport, the airport called BGI, or Grantley Adams International Airport. Now, the size of Barbados is a relatively small island. It's only 21 miles long from north to south, and at its widest part, it's 14 miles wide. Capital is Bridgetown, and that's where the harbour is now, and you've got lots of cruise ships departing the harbour through the winter months. So this hotel is a great combination for post-cruises or pre-cruise stays on the island. Um, it's easy to get around Barbados. You can hire a car and explore it. It's safe to drive around. Now, these beaches on this Atlantic coastline here, the East Coast, are open to the Atlantic waves, and it's great surfing beaches on this side of the island. Bathsheba is the most famous of the Atlantic coastline beaches, and it really is a mecca for wind surfers, kite surfers, and surfers themselves. We're down here on the southeast coastline, so we're protected by this headland here from the, 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 the Atlantic waves, but we do get some waves on the beach here because it's where it's located. Now, the nearest hotel to us is the Crane Resort, not far, it's less than five minutes drive away. Um, the west coast of Barbados is easily accessible in about 45 to 50 minutes. Um, and there's a whole labyrinth of, of, of roads and, and sites and plantation houses and lots of things to see and do on the island of Barbados. Down here on the south coast is a little village called Oystins. Now, Oystins fame is famous every Friday evening for a traditional Barbados fish fry. The Oystins fish fry is a bit of a landmark, and it happens every Friday evening where the locals and the visitors to the island come together, celebrate, enjoy delicious seafood, um, fish fry, but also just chill out and relax on the beach at Oystins and have a really authentic Bayesian experience. So that's something new and interesting to do. And actually what we do, we offer a complimentary shuttle transfer to both Oystins and Carlisle Bay on the south coast from the hotel. So on arrival, when your guest arrives at the property, they're welcomed by the breezeway lobby area. So this is a very airy open space, very imposing, very tall. Um, it's a lovely arrival experience for this resort. Individual guests check in on the right, groups check in on the left. So we separate the two types of, of, of guests arriving. But if you walk to the end of the breezeway, you then get to the balcony area and overlook the central swimming pool. Now in total, we have six swimming pools at this hotel. Some of them are adult only, some of them are family friendly because the resort is open to guests of all ages. There's lounges around the pool, parasols, um, and also cabanas are available around most of the swimming pools. So it's a really nice pool and beach experience. Now, the rooms are very spacious. We are the largest property with 422 rooms. We're largest on the island of Barbados, of which there are 37 suites. So remember, this is a brand new build hotel. It only opened up in October last year. So all the rooms and suites are very modern, very contemporary, and very, very spacious. They all have large, oversized balcony areas. Um, the bathrooms are very lovely, all clad in, in marble. So a lovely guest experience, very spacious accommodation. All the rooms face towards the ocean. They face sideways, which we call our resort view rooms, but we also have full ocean view rooms in the inventory as well. This happens to be the balcony of one of the one bedroom suites that we have at the property. Now, 
This is our intro room, or this is our lowest rate room in terms of cost. Um, it's called the Deluxe Resort View Room with a King Bed. So the Deluxe Resort View Room um, has a King Bed in the middle of it that floats in the middle with a headboard. And behind that headboard, you have a desk area. Um, and underneath the desk area, you've got the stock minibar. And in all the rooms at the property, the minibars are stocked with uh, beer and soft drinks, juices, and waters. There's also an espresso coffee machine using Nespresso, Nespresso capsules and also a kettle for, for tea making as well. So you've got great facilities, air conditioning and ceiling fans. So in the middle of, of, of the year, if you, if you prefer to sleep without air conditioning, you can. There's a lovely ceiling fan to get the breezes moving. That sliding door behind the bed is the access to the bathroom, but I'll come on to that a bit later. So the smallest rooms in, these, in this hotel are 650 square foot in size. That includes the balcony. So they're very spacious, very airy, very light and modern. So we also have a large number of rooms that are deluxe category rooms with two queen beds. This happens to be a deluxe room with ocean view. Um, the two queen beds are great for families. And the nice thing, you can see the balcony there, a very spacious balcony with furniture and great views out to the ocean. Um, the nice thing about this property is that we have a large number of rooms that interconnect with each other. We always have a deluxe category room with a king bed that connects into an, a deluxe category with two queen beds. Now, booking that configuration, configuration as two rooms interconnecting, um, you can accommodate two, two adults and up to five children in those two rooms, separating them between however you want to, to separate the, the, the bedding. Um, so that's quite unusual for a property to have so many interconnecting rooms and have capacity for that larger size family. Um, it's a very family friendly resort and I'll come on to the kids club a little later. All we ask for you to book the, the, the interconnecting rooms is book both the rooms as single occupancy for the adults the child policy uh, will apply and the child rates will apply when sharing. So that's how to book those and report them down to the hotel as request for interconnecting. The earlier the book before arrival, the greater the chance of interconnecting. The bathrooms, very spacious, modern, contemporary, with marble tiles throughout. Flooring is marble, the walls are marble, the granite, I mean, the, the sink, sinks are marble, the different color uh, marble for the sinks. Um, there's a separate bath, separate shower, and a separate WC. So you can see they're very modern, contemporary, stylish bathrooms to all the rooms. Now, the nice thing about this property is that we have a large number of rooms that have been created for guests with mobility challenges. They may be uh, needing a wheelchair to get around um, or walking sticks. And the bathrooms within these 20 mobility accessible rooms have been adapted for guests who, who, who need uh, access to bathroom facilities. There's grab rails. There's rolling showers with shower uh, stool there. You can see in the corner. Very spacious, and these 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 rooms are bookable by a specific room type. So you can book a deluxe category room with king bed that with ocean view that is with mobility accessible features, but also with 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 resort view as well. So they're bookable by room type. Um, there are twenty of them, and they're perfect for the guest that needs that extra support. Doors are wider, the furniture is lower, so they really are catering to the guest with with some accessibility challenges. The nice thing about the whole property is that actually the guests can enjoy step-free access virtually everywhere in the property, all the restaurants, all the bathrooms, from the lobby area to through to the bars, the swimming pools is step-free access throughout the resort. The only area that currently is not enjoying step-free access is down onto the beach because there are a number of steps to get down onto the beach. So now we're moving into the suites. We've got 37 beautiful one-bedroom suites. So the terrace suite is very spacious, and all the suites have two separate balconies, one off the bedroom area, one off the living room area. Um, spacious accommodation, and all the suites are located on the top two floors of all the rooms, all the, all the blocks. There's five blocks in total. So all the suites command the best views of out to the ocean. This is the living room of a terrace suite. So you can see very spacious, lovely marble dining table there. You've got a wet bar in the middle of the of the suite, which has underneath the, the sink, you have the mini bar stocked with waters, beers, soft drinks, and juices. The Nespresso machine is there for coffee, espresso coffee. And also you've got 
um, kettles for tea making facilities as well. So lovely spacious suites. This is the Terra Suite. The next category is the Ember Suite. So the Ember Suite actually has this one has two balconies off the bedroom area. Lovely, very light, very airy, very modern, very spacious and contemporary. The next suite category is the Zephyr Suite. Very spacious living room out onto the balcony there. So great, great for families. Um, all the suites, the 37 suites, all have a double convertible, convertible sofa bed in them as well. So great for families um, offering wanting spacious accommodation. Our highest category suite at the moment is the Ocean Suite. Now, the Ocean Suite is the largest by square footage. Um, it also has the largest balcony. They're all on the top floor. Um, very modern, very contemporary. And out on that balcony, you'll find a lovely soaking hot tub, um, which is great to relax and chill out and, and look out over the views of the, of the Caribbean Sea. So lovely accommodation. And I like to think of it as very modern contemporary accommodation at this hotel. So the hotel is a luxury five-star all-inclusive property. All meals are included, breakfast, lunch, and dinner from a choice of restaurants. Fully stocked minibar, which is replenished daily, as I mentioned. Room service is included, no trade delivery charge, and it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, all the drinks are included. Um, all-inclusive international brand name spirits, cocktails, and beers. Now, what do I mean by international brand name spirits? So, for example, if we're looking at vodka, the um, the inclusive um, brands that we include would be the likes of Absolute Vodka and Stolichnaya Vodka. Now, we do also stock top shelf premium brand drinks as well. So, for example, vodkas, we, we hold in stock Grey Goose, Belvedere and Chirac Vodka. Those are available at an additional supplement charge that will be charged by the guest back to their room account. And that's payable locally at the hotel. Um, there's charges, for example, to upgrade to Belvedere and that type of premium top shelf brand is between two and four dollars per measure. So not not high supplements. The wine available from all the bars and with all meals pulled by the glass, um, not by the bottle. So lots of inclusions in the all inclusive program. And at the moment, we have a choice of restaurants available at the property. The Mediterranean market, as its name suggests, is um, inspired by cuisine of the Mediterranean region. Now, you've got um, five separate cooking stations. The cuisine will vary day by day. It could be French one day, Italian, Greek, Mediterranean, um, Spanish tapas, for example, Moroccan and North African can be inspired as well. So it's a changing buffet for lunch and dinner. Um, it's also available a la carte for lunch and for dinner as well, and buffet style for breakfasts. Now, Castle View, is our adult-only um, steak and seafood restaurant. Now, adult-only by meaning it's open to guests ages 13 years and older. Children under 12, 12 years and below, are not ac can't ha cannot access this restaurant. It's our signature fine dining restaurant, uh, and it serves a very lovely different type of menu. Um, but you also have uh, the hotel caters to special dietary requirements, including vegan, vegetarian, and celiac as well. So we do cater to dietary requirements. Burnt cask is our adult-only rum bar. Uh, that also serves tapas in the evening, but it's stocked with over 90 different types of rum from all over the world. But remember, Barbados is the home of rum. It's where rum was invented. 300 years ago, or thereabouts. So it's it's very much a, a gourmet um, rum bar experience, and it is adults only. Um, and you can and about half of the rums, half of the 90 rums are included in the all inclusive program. There are additional ones. The very fine VSOP rums are available at a small additional charge and supplement. The Lantern Pool Bar pays homage to the lanterns that Sam Lords and his merry men and women used to hang from the trees to, to, to distract those ships arriving into Bridgetown Harbour. The Sam Lords Grill is a casual dining affair open throughout the day. Burgers, wraps, pizzas, salads, etc. served indoor but also outdoor on the terrace as well overlooking the pool area. So a great choice of restaurants and bars at this property. And don't forget, we have room service available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
So this is a lovely view of the beach from the south, looking northwards. And you can see the hotel sitting there proudly on the, the cliff edge. So there's a, there's a cliff drop of about 20 feet from the, the platform that the hotel sits on down onto the beach. The way you access the beach is in front of the castle here, and through the trees, through these little wooded area, down onto the beach, there's about 30 steps that take you down onto the beach from in front of the, the castle. Um, Castle View Restaurant is this building here, right next to the castle. And um, we are looking to put a ramp in to get guests with mobility challenges down onto the beach through this way here. But you can see the beach has two separate areas. You've got a swimming area here, which is open to the ocean. It is safe to swim on good, good, good sea conditions um, in the ocean there. But you've also got a more rocky area to the north side of the beach over there. Um, so a lovely beach. Um, and beach access is available to all guests. This picture was taken before the hotel opened. Now we have lounges and parasols down on the beach. There's lots of other things to do as well. Uh, we have six swimming pools. There's five of them in the main part of the resort. Um, and then there's one extra one. The sixth one sits within the lovely spa that we have, the Sun Lord Spa. There's tennis courts, pickleball courts, a fitness center and gymnasium. Um, we've got the Barbados Golf Club not far away. And remember I told you right at the beginning, we're very close to the East Coast beaches. So surfing and windsurfing and kite surfing is available out on those beaches on the East Coast. And that's about 20 minutes drive away from the hotel. Um, we are family friendly. Children of all ages are welcome. Um, and obviously the minimum check-in age is 18 years of age for a guest to occupy a room by themselves. So our children's club is aimed at ages between four and 12 years of age. Um, under four years of age, children can join, but we need to ask the parent either stays with them or they are potty trained. Teenagers tend to be more independent and want a bit more freedom and flexibility to do their own things. Lots of activities available, but they can dip in and dip out of the children's club if they so wish. So there's lots of activities. Um, daytime activities includes arts and crafts, sandcastle making, bracelet and jewelry making, face painting, picture pic, uh, picnics and nature walks. Then in the evening, there's an entertainment program to keep the little ones entertained, talent shows, discos, kiddies fashion shows, movie night, lots and lots of activities. Um, babysitting is available. That's charged for extra. So babysitting is charged at about 15 US dollars per hour for up to three children being looked after by a babysitter. For adult guests, we have our lovely spa. Um, it's a very much a wellness resort. So this spa offers seven different treatment rooms, uh, and many of treatments including massage, manicure, pedicure, wraps and scrubs. So all that's the, 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 the treatments you would expect of a modern luxury spa. Next to the spa, you've got a hairdressing salon, a nail salon, and actually uh, that's where the gymnasium and fitness center are as well. So the spa treatments are not included in the all-inclusive program. They are available at an additional charge. Um, and I'll send you a link to download fact sheets and other information, including the spa menu later on during the presentation. So watch out for that link when I send it through. Popular wedding and honeymoon destination. Barbados is a great destination to get married in. Um, you've got a choice of wedding locations on the beach, by the pool, or in front of the castle even. We have the largest uh, banqueting facilities on the island now. We have the largest ballroom. Um, so it's very popular. We have various wedding packages available to guests uh, that stay internationally, as well as, as, as local guests from Barbados and the CARICOM region. We are now a very major conference and incentive and meeting destination as well. The ballroom can take theatre style up to 800 people, banqueting style 700. There's executive meeting rooms. Um, you can see the, the image here of the castle. That's the castle lawn in front of it. And that is a great event space out there for wedding breakfasts. But I guess most of your customers are going to be on holiday. They're on their own personal vacation. So that's a bit of information about the, the banqueting facilities. This is a quick map to show you the layout of the resort. Now, there's five different buildings that are accommodation blocks. They're numbered one, two, three, four, and five. You can see them. Now, as I mentioned right at the beginning, all the rooms at this property were built facing towards the ocean. Now, our full ocean view rooms sit in, in these blocks here on this area. There, you're looking straight out over the ocean, and here, you're looking straight over the ocean. We have resort view rooms as well, and the resort view rooms are along these side of the buildings that look towards the swimming pool, 
But if you were to walk out onto your balcony, turn your head left or right, you'd be able to see the sea. So it's just the view from the bed. You probably wouldn't be able to see the sea from the resort view rooms. But the, most of them, most of the resort view rooms look over the swimming pool or the garden, um, whereas the ocean view rooms look straight out, unobscured, uh, directly to the ocean. The dark, blue, the dark gray block here is our spa and gymnasium. Block number seven is our ballroom and meeting facilities. Tennis courts and pickleball courts are over there. And you enter the property via this roundabout in through the main gate into the courtyard area here. It's a lovely water feature there. Uh, and then you arrive at point number three, which is the breezeway lobby where guests disembark and enter the property to check in. The blue bombs are obviously the swimming pools. The castle's over here, and access down on the beach is on 30 steps that lead down onto the beach um, from in front of the castle. Now, I'm going to play you a quick video again. This, isn't, this, this wasn't meant to be playing right at the beginning, but I'll play it to you again to see what the property looks like. So thank you very much for joining me today. I'll send you a link in the chat um, so that you can access information, uh, download fact sheets on the property, access the spa menu, uh, the spa, spa treatment menu, and lots more information. So thank you again for everybody for joining us. Apologies for my technical challenges right at the beginning, but I hope that didn't impact your enjoyment and the information I communicated too badly. Thanks again, everyone. Good luck with the competition. Thank you very much, Peter. And don't you worry, um, the presentation was super amazing. And I think we've a lot. So thank you for that. Thank Sorry, Adney. Adney? Hi, thank you so much. All right, so no, I will be... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all yours. Yeah, all right. I will be sharing with you today a presentation um, we do not have videos yet, and this is because we are actually uh, presenting a new property that was recently renovated, entirely renovated. It was closed. So uh, we opened again three months ago in March. So we are working on the media, but I hope the presentation is uh, it's good for you to know and experience this. Just give me a moment. All right, so I will be talking about the Marriott All-Inclusive. This is the first Marriott All-Inclusive in the world. Um, this one is located in Cancun, Mexico. And basically, um, this building is not new. Uh, it was before it, before it was renovated, it was a European plan hotel. It was also Marriott, but it was Marriott Casa Magna. And now we made all of these renovations from the room, from the lobby, all of the restaurants. Some areas were built from zero and everything um, has been done so we can um, transform this building into an all-inclusive resort. And well, um, one of the many good things about this property. It is that it is located 15 minutes away from the airport. So the guests don't have to travel a lot. Um, like in comparison from Tulum, for example, that they have to drive two hours. This is very convenient for the guests that travel uh, many hours. And the only thing that they want is to go uh, directly to the, to the hotel and just have, um, have rest and enjoy everything. And um, starting from the lobby, and um, basically the entrance, oh, I'm sorry, can I just, yeah. The lobby entrance was completely built from zero. It used to have like a simple um, entrance, everything white, 
but um, this time it was completely uh, renovated. This has a new a new view, and it also gives a um, um, a nicer entrance compared to the last one that we had. From the moment that you arrive to the resort, this is basically the, the view that you have. This is an ocean from resort. And yeah, this is really nice. This is also part of the lobby. The, the lobby bar. And as I was mentioned, um, this property, also, I mean, it's 15 minutes away from the airport, but it is also uh, a walking distance from most shopping malls, also from many restaurants and many convenience stores like drugstores and things that can be useful. <clears throat> so um, we also renovated all of the entrances from the building, all of the rooms, um, have this new um, kind of wood design. And the, we also implemented the, the bottoms. We got rid of the do not disturb site. And we now have electronically um, some buttons that when you push it, you can um, request the cleaning service. And when you push another button, then you, you get the do not disturb sign, but like displayed in the monitor outside of the rooms. Um, our property has uh, 450 rooms. Um, from the standard rooms, we have um, many categories depending on the view. Um, they could be either a king size bed with a sofa bed room, or it could be also with two double beds. And we also have many adjoining rooms. And the difference will be um, the view, as I mentioned, it could be like resort view. Mostly they are located on the first and the second floors. And yeah, the view that they have is mostly to the main areas of the, of the building. Then we have the, the partial ocean view where you mostly have to get to the balcony to get like this um, view from, from the ocean. We also have the ocean view that, um, I mean, how it is said, it is, the ocean view and we also have um, in the standard categories the the ocean from view as well and another thing that we did to the design of the rooms um, it was the colors in the past it used to be um, this kind of um, dark and deep colors that and we also had like big um, mobiliary that made the room seem smaller. So in this case, we, we with the concept that we tried to, to request the architects was um, to bring the ocean to the room. So I don't know if it's displayed here, but for example, the, the floor has been, has this texture of like sand and also the carpets, they, they seem like the ocean and we also have like some palm trees. And another thing was um, the closets. They used to be completely closed, but in order to, to avoid that the guests um, forget their things, and we decided to make them open so they have everything uh, to their view and they do not forget anything. Um, another important thing to mention is that all of our rooms have their private balcony and all of the rooms uh, with balcony have this ocean view. Uh, about the suites, from the 450 rooms, uh, 38 of them are suites. These are some of the views. We also implemented in, in many of our suites the, the, the double sink. We didn't have this. We, and this space was used like for for a bigger closet, but we decided to optimize this space and, and give these extra amenities that are so important. This is another picture of the presidential suite. And uh, yeah, I would like to mention that most of these images are renders um, because basically we started to, to receive the guests 
on March this year. The property was closed on March last year, on 2023. And um, we are already working with photographers to make the real pictures and show them to you as soon as possible. We, I mean, it's not here in this presentation, but we also have these um, accessible rooms. We have about uh, four of them in the property and they can also be adjoining rooms. This is another um, view of the presidential suite. The, one of the things that I love about the presidential suite is that you have um, huge balconies, but you also have uh, this double view. You have the view to the ocean and you also have the view to the lagoon. So here, um, basically the, the sunrise starts on the beach part and the sunset gets at the lagoon. So you have both views and you have the, like the terrace on both. So you can, you can have a really nice view of them. This is like the, the picture of the entire property from, from the sky. And um, here you will see that um, we have this water park. This was also built from zero. We didn't have this. And before the renovations, we only have like one main pool. And this time we have the, the main pool. We have an adult pool. We have also a whirlpool here. And we have the water park and lazy river for the kids. Oh, another thing that was added um, was this kind of um, beachfront terrace that uh, we have some cabanas there and also um, some chairs so you can lay there, but they can also be used for events like weddings or party or anything. This is also the aerial view, but from the, from the street side. This one was the, the lobby entrance that was renovated. So before here, there was nothing. And now it has a living area, really, really nice that it's next to the to these restaurants that we have here. We also have the parking lot. <clears throat> and we have these amazing restaurants that I will tell you more about it later. But this one here that has the, the view to the lagoon is one of the most recommended so far by the guests that have come. And you also have like a, Lagoon, it is most recommended for the dinner because of the lagoon view and the sunset from there. This is the water park. We have basically um, added two slides. We have the lazy river over here. We have this small pool. And we also have some, well, it's not in this picture, but when I show you the, the actual pictures of the property, you will see them. This will be the adults pool. And this has an infinity pool here and also has a bar. This will be the main pool also with their own bar. One of, um, of the amazing things of this is that in the, in the pool area, you have a um, many restaurants and you have bars in all of them. So basically you don't have to walk long distances or basically you don't have to walk at all to get your drinks or to have something to eat. This is a part of the cabanas. And this here, it's like in the center of the property. This stage here was also um, built in order to have events right here. So um, some days we will have some DJs or some dancers or anything. So even um, if you are not like inside of the building or at any of the restaurants, you can still see some shows from, from the pools. And right below it, you, you we have the restaurant Botanica that I will um, let you know the concept in a moment. And these are the concepts of, of the restaurants that we have. We basically have um, nine of them. The first one that we have open in the mornings and also for dinner will be Hana. This one is Polynesian Grill. At the, at the, um, for the breakfast in the morning, they serve like the breakfast buffet. 
And at dinner, they have a la carte, this Polynesian cuisine. The other one that I show you that was like in the street side where you can see the lagoon is uh, Casa Madre. This one is specialized also in Mexican cuisine. This is like the second restaurant that we have opened for the breakfast. And but this one has a different concept that Hana Hana has more like an American breakfast. In Casa Madre, um, you have this breakfast buffet, but also uh, you have the Mexican option of the, of the breakfast. You, you have like a station with, with a lady doing um, handmade tortillas, sopes, guaraches, quesadillas, and all of this. Because one thing that were requested for many of our guests, like in the entire experience that they had in the, in the last uh, property, is that they wanted real authentic Mexican food. And they usually had to to go to another mall or to other restaurants to, to experience this. And this time we have it here, so they don't have to move and they really feel this authentic Mexican food. Wow. And the third one that we have is Ono. Ono is uh, Asian cuisine and mostly Japanese. We have these tepanyaki and isakaya concepts where, where they make the food in front of you, like, you know, in a bar. Um, from all of the restaurants, only the tepanyaki is the one that you will need a reservation to, to get this concept, but the rest, you don't need reservation to get. The other one um, is Press Plus Start. This one, it's um, American cuisine, but it's like our sports bar. This, was, this one was designed more um, thinking about the, the teens. Usually when you go to a resort, um, the people only think about the adults and the small kids, but mostly the teens usually don't have much to do. So this one has um, many arcade games. You, they also have karaoke. And um, they have, I mean, for the adults, they have the bar. And yeah, they have entertaining things. And my favorite one is this one here, Moe's. I love this one because it has a really nice story behind it. So before the Marriott family became um, or, were, or were introduced to the hotel industry, they used to have restaurants. And one of the restaurants that they have was uh, burgers, burgers and shakes. And it was called Moe's. So they brought back these, um, these restaurants that they used to have and put it here. And also um, in, in this property, the, I will, let me see if I have a picture. Yeah, it's this one here. So basically most is like a 50s burgers and shake place and but with the view to the ocean basically they have a these huge windows where you can see the ocean and they also have um some pictures in in the walls of the times where the family marriott used to work there and they also have some um some letters with the receipts and yeah it's i, I love it because it really has a, a nice history behind it the other one would be sakbe this one is located um, behind the main pool area. Basically, it's the one that um, you go downstairs and it's right in front of the, of the sand and the ocean. This one serves local cuisine, mostly from the peninsula. Like from, uh, it is food from Quintana Roo, from Yucatan in Campeche. And the concept um, of the design of the of the restaurant, it's more like Bohemian kind of um, Tulum vibes. And the next one that we have is a seven and fifty pizzeria. This one is really representative in all of our Marriott properties. You will find one in all of them. We also we also have the JW Marriott next to us. We are connected to them, and they also have a seven and fifty pizzeria. Basically, here um, it's more like uh, where you will find pizza and some sandwiches and yeah, some some uh, quick drinks. We also have the organic and CO cafe and bakery. This is a grab and go concept. Um, we we thought about this one mostly because many of our guests um, when they come here they have. Um, 
reservations for doing activities really early. And, and they, the restaurants are usually not open until seven and they, they go to the tours like around six. So this, um, this store, you only come, grab the sandwiches or the drinks, and you can just go. This one is also very useful when the kids come. Um, usually the kids are not really patient when they want food. <laughs> so this, this one is also a great option for them. And the concept of La Isla in, in the pool area, we have many small restaurants that serve to all of the pools. And basically one of them, it's like the, like the main one where you will find American option foods like um, nachos and burgers and things like that. And then in the, in the other restaurant, we have cevicheria where they serve seafood um, ceviche options. And we also have botanica. Botanica is the one that I show you that it's uh, under the, the big terrace. This one serves healthy food. And we also have entertainment activities. We have, um, we have yoga, pilates, we have uh, water basket, aqua black jack, water polo, beach volleyball. All of these activities, uh, we have them, they change every week. So for each week we have a plan that is um, shared to all of the guests when they arrive. And we also have some classes like salsa, violin, piano, guitar, and some shows. These are the pictures of the restaurants. For example, um, this one here is the one that I show you that is located um, in, the la in the street area, looking to the lagoon. This is Moe's. This is, this is the one from here. Cevicheria is the one that serves seafood options by the pool. This one here is a Japanese restaurant. This would be the fitness center. This one uh, was also built from zero. This building, uh, we didn't have it. And yeah, we use some of the extra space to build this. So they have a proper fitness center. And um, we also made a partnership with Camp Club. Um, I don't know if some of you already know this um, company. Basically, this is a company from the United States. You will see it in many cities like Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, Dallas, Los Angeles. And they also have like partner partnership with, um, with Disney to sell some toys. They, they really have a great offer or variety of services for the kids. That, that are like workshops. And we have designed a really huge space for it. So it's not just a small place where you just leave your kids. So um, it's a really big place with uh, many activities. They also have like zip lines and um, like bolder things for the kids. Here are some of the activities, board games, art classes, trivia, dream catchers, soccer, sandcastles, beach Olympics, Mexican bingo, etc. And basically that will be everything for the presentation. Do you have any questions so far? Thank you very much. Um, that was great. It was great to see the foodie concept um, at the hotel. That was one thing that stood out to me. And um, I think it's so important with hotels that are in destinations that have got great food when they do have the local food uh, to save people having to go out and get street food. I think it's very, very important. So, um, yeah, hats off to the team for arranging that for the clients. Um, OK, in terms of questions, does anybody have anything? Um, Peter, I think you've answered all of yours, haven't you? You've... I try to, yes, I try to keep up to space by while still watching Ariadne's presentation. So yeah, I'm up to speed with all the questions I've answered on the Q and A on the present on the uh, the webinar. Super. Um. So um. Cynthia's asked, when is the best month to visit Cancun? The best moment, I will say, um, either from March to June or from October to September because the high seasons here are like um, 
December, January, and July, August. Okay, super. Super, thank you very much. Okay, so now we get to the point of the day. Um, if you can stop sharing, please, Ariadne, and pop your video back on. Here she is. Okay, so we get to the point of the day where we do our little quiz for you. So I love this part. So as a reminder, everybody that's on the webinar today gets a prize draw point. If you are the fastest finger and you answer the question correctly, you get 10 entries. Uh, tomorrow, I put you all into a spin to win and we will let you know who the winners are. So Peter, would you like to go first? So everybody go to chat, make sure your drop down says everyone and Peter is going to ask you a question. Peter, over to you. Thank you, Sarah. Right then, I hope you're all listening. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Um, I mentioned we have a an adult-only rum bar that serves over 90 different types of rum. What is the name of the adult-only rum bar at Wyndham Grand Barbados? Very good. Some correct answers there. Well done. Very good. Okay, so Michelle said it's the burnt cask. Is that the correct answer? That's the correct answer. I'm glad to see you all listening, and I didn't send you all off to sleep during my presentation. So <laughs> well done no. to everybody who said burnt cask. Brilliant. Thank you very much. We all love a bit of a, a bit of gin and rum, and um, and yeah, don't forget exactly. that Barbados is the home of rum. It's where it all started many hundreds of years ago. Yep, exactly. Mount Gay rub, my favourite. That's the one. Hmm, excellent. Um, okay, Ariadne, do you want to fire away with your question? You need to unmute. Oh, you need to unmute. That's it. Yeah, Can you hear that's me? good. Yep. Yeah, perfect. The question would be, um, what is the signature restaurant of Marriott Cancun? What is the signature restaurant? I think we're all loving Moe's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first person was Carol who said it was Hannah. Is that the correct answer? No, it is not. Okay, the next person was Sonia who said Moe's. Is that the correct answer? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. So, Son Sonia, you have your 10 points. So, a big thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Thank you to Peter and to Ariadne for the super presentations. As I say, they will send a follow-up to you. Um, if you've got anything else that you need from them, please do reach out to them. Um, and I will let you know who the winners are tomorrow. Um, so, a big thank you. Keep logging your bookings. Don't forget that these hotels are trade-friendly and want to work with you. So a big thank you, everybody. And thank you guys for your super presentations. We'll see you all tomorrow. We've got a webinar tomorrow. So thank you and take care. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Take care. Have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Thank you Bye, so everybody. much. Bye. Bye. Adios. Bye.